are we doing tonight? Good. How's everything going? I hear she said you had the pressure away. Sometimes it, it really, it gets like that. And, you know, there's so many things going on in our lives, but God is still good. Yes, he is. He's still taking care of us. What if I told you? What if I told you that you were created for this? This. What's this? What if I told you that you were created for this? Everything that's going on in your life. What if I told you that you were created for everything that's going on in your life right now? Good and bad. Everything that you've been through in the last year. Everything that you've been through in the last five years. What if I told you you were created for this? Appointed. Anointed. And God chose you. In, let's see, in John... John, the first chapter of John, I'm not mistaken. No, I'm sorry. John 15. He said, you didn't choose me. I chose you. Amen. So, if that's the case, that means that this is your time. That means that it, this is for you. This time, yes. this moment, this space, all the negativity, everything that happened was for a reason. You are anointed and appointed for such a time as this. Amen. He said, you did not choose me. I chose you. Yes. In another verse, he says, I put my words on your lips. That means he anointed you. That means that you're ready. That means that you're prepared. The job loss, the, the hurt, the pain, the trouble, the finances that were just, it just, things just don't make sense. You know, most of the time we choose that lifestyle. That's something that we did. But God is so big and so great that he recovers us. You were appointed and anointed and chosen. But with that came a promise. There's a promise. He told Moses. <clears throat> he told him that I promise that this life that I have for you Amen. is not all I'm ad living ad living. It's not all peaches and cream. But I'm right here with you. I got your back. Earlier I thought about a story with uh with Moses standing on the mountaintop and God said, Moses, come here. Moses came to God and he, God told him, go and gather everyone. And I want you to tell them something. Moses stopped him dead in his tracks and he said, you know, I, I can't do that. I'm not doing that. Yeah. He's not, they're not going to believe me. They're going to think I'm foolish. God said, what is that in your hand? I'm pretty sure Moses was like, duh, God, it's a stick. But God said, Moses, what is in your hand? Moses said, it's a staff. He said, now point it down. And Moses pointed it down and it turned into a snake. A snake. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when it turned into that snake, God said, lift it up. And it turned back into a staff point it's like God had to do something to make him believe that what God was saying was true and what it was and, and that it was right because sometimes us as humans we have to hear what God is saying or we have to we got to see things happen before we can actually believe it yes. and that's foolish we can't just believe that God is going to do it that God is going to make that miracle happen that God is going to bless you tomorrow with the job at three o'clock that God is going to Remove all of those, all of that paperwork when it comes to that house that you're about to buy. Yes. Why can't we believe that? Why can't we believe that our children will turn to God? Why can't we believe that that friend will not die from cancer, but will live and not die? Why can't we believe? But on with the story. Moses got down there with the people. And long story short, <laughs> with what he had in his hands he turned and split the red sea 
with what he has in his hands. What do you have in your hands? What is it? What's in your hands? What's in your pocket? You know, the commercial says, what's in your wallet? What's in your hands right now? What do you have that God has given to you, anointed and appointed and promised to you? What is in your possession right now that God is trying to use and you're saying that doesn't make sense? What is it? I dare you today, I challenge you to lift your hands to God in every moment you can and ask him, God, I don't know what I have, but God, I'm willing and ready to do anything you want to do to go forward. I can't live like this, God. I can't do this. So God, I submit to your will and to your way. Yes. And this is my time. And I'm going to do everything you said that you, that you said to do. This is my time. Okay, yeah, 2020 happened, but 2019 happened too. So what are you going to do now? Let's not worry about what year it is or what date it is. Let's worry about what's going on in your life. What are you going to do right now? What are you going to do with what God blessed you with? Amen. Amen. Amen.